guys, here's a great summer bait. We used to fish this bait so often before uh, sliding came out. And I've got two sugar mackerel here. This is a double sugar mackerel long cast bait. Now for today, I'm gonna put it on a straight trace on the hook, on the joke. But uh, if you make a long enough dangle, this works perfectly on a dangle as well. So you can fish it on both. I've got a mustard uh, big gun here and I've just tied it to nylon. Now you can put, obviously you would rather put some nylon coated steel on here because this bait will lure in some sharks. It's a great bait for, for flat fish, but it can also uh, lure in any, any shark in the area. So I'd rather fish nylon coated steel. <coughs> so basically what I want to do is my show off knife. The beautiful mustard. Nice and heavy as well. Very nice knife. It doesn't go with me to the beach. It stays in the fishing studio. All right, so you cut the tails off, make it more streamlined. And then if you wanna put foam, which I'm gonna do for the purpose of demonstration, you don't have to put foam. You split your mackerel right straight down the middle. I love these little sugar mackerels. They actually, they make such nice baits, the smaller. And this I got from Adcan Marine, obviously. And then I'll use two, it's a bigger hook, so you'll use two toothpicks to secure it. Because with clipping your sinker, the bait will shoot up the line. So you have to secure it. Form a nice point there. Okay, so that's basically what I do there. Then, now you can first do your foam if you want. And tie it on so long, on the back shank. Wedge it into the foam. And then we just tie that on nice and strong. You can put a lot of cotton on this. This is the base. This will hold the bait. demonstration purpose that's enough cotton now what I do is I first put the head down I'll stick this in the bottom there through the top of the head and then those toothpicks I want to wedge through on the other side to hold the bait you see there they come through and I tie the first mackerel on now you can cast it obviously just like this with one mackerel but uh, I want to show you guys the double mackerel. You can do that nice and tight. With a mackerel and a red eye, you always put the head down. With a sardine, you'll turn it around because a lot of times it's shad and they take the tail first. The head of a sardine doesn't have as much blood, just the gill section where the heart is, but a mackerel head and a red eye head is deadly. So you'll face the head down. Okay, now to add the second one, very simple. You just split it as well. That 
to fold over like that. I'm going to secure it first and then I'll do it There you go guys, a very nice deadly bait in any of our waters when you're targeting non-edible fish, your skates and rays, and uh, all your sharks. All that blood seeping out from both mackerel will last long, both visible. This will fish in slightly cleaner water, in dirty water we do a more flesh, fleshy bait. With the flesh we turn them inside out, obviously with the flesh sitting on the outside and you'll use cutlets to do this. This is for your more cleaner water and nothing will swim past this. You can also fish a second hook, uh, the mustard, uh, oh, what do they call them? And then you get with a slightly bent eye and you push it down and you just hook it through here and you've got a second hook sitting on the top. But there you go, double sugar mackerel bait.